Hey guys, Neorox87 here. So, I guess I'm finally back here on YouTube. I have a lot to cover, so I'm, I'm just going to jump right into this. Um, first question, where have I been? Well, if you remember, about a year ago I posted a video of some stuff I had planned, including my, how I made my wheel video and stuff. I had mentioned that my dad was going through some personal problems and I didn't want to elaborate on it. So those problems uh, came to be, for lack of a better term, and he ended up having a major ankle surgery. What had happened was, th this all goes back to when he was much younger in like high school and thereafter. He had sprained his ankle multiple times, I think, he, he estimates 25 times or so. And then, into, as he got older, as an adult, it, he just kind of had a bad ankle. Not, 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 not necessarily a, a bad ankle, but one that was irritable. And he had, he's had arthritis in it for ages now it seems so what had happened was uh, in the in the months preceding uh, my last the last video I did about a year ago it had started his foot started to move sideways and he didn't really think about it too much and then in like August it got really bad then he had to start walking on crutches because it was so bad September got really bad he had he had been to a couple doctors uh, recommended by his uh, regular doctor and the insurance company and uh, and stuff and they and they were of no help at all so finally my dad found one found a doctor all by himself because like I said the insurance company was useless and he and I went to I, I, I should say I came along with him to help him went to went to see this new doctor it was around, it was just about a year ago now, a little more, I think it was like a year ago yesterday. Anyway, he went to go see him and, and after that, he, uh, the doctor did a little procedure, did a little, looked at it, I guess, and, uh, uh, I forgot my train of thought, he said, uh, he, I guess he poked a needle in there somewhere to look at it or something. And then that, he had like, I should, I should back up here. My dad kind of had that. The bone started to wear a hole in his foot. That's what happened. And, and he had, had this, a couple sores on it actually. And the doctor injected it or poked at it or did something. And then after that, we came home. And then the next day, he didn't feel good. He stayed in bed for two days after that. He was throwing up and all kinds of other stuff. And he just, his foot just got progressively worse. And then after that, he he didn't go back to work after that. It was, and his job requires him to walk around on cement. I'll get to that some other day. But uh, at this time point, he. We really didn't know what what he had, what was going on, and uh, and we he eventually it wasn't until about mid October or so that my dad found out what he had. It was a condition called Charcot foot, and his ba his foot was basically falling off. This is basically what happened. His heel was dislocated, his ankle was dislocated, he was walking on his tibia and fibia because his ankle was bent, and his Achilles tendon was ruptured. So it was at the end of November, the end of November he finally had surgery on it. <clears throat> Excuse me. And he spent a couple days in the hospital up in Appleton, Wisconsin. I live in Fond du Lac, in case you didn't know that. Appleton's probably maybe, like maybe 50 miles north of here. Something like that. I don't know the exact number, but 
spent uh, a couple days up there. He had the surgery on November 30th. And he, uh, and he didn't come home until that Friday night. They had a van uh, bring him back home. You know, so, uh, and, and just to clarify how he got there, my, my uncle, or my dad's brother-in-law, was kind enough to, to help us out with that. He, they took my dad's truck and went up there, because my dad can get up into a truck better than a car, you know. My dad has a 99 Dodge Durango, so. So my uncle drove him, my, my dad, he, before, in the months preceding the, the, surgery he was wrapping his foot in towels because it was because this walking on it was so bad and walking on it would cause it to bleed and stuff so uh, so my dad had basically had four major surgeries at once and he had the surgery on November 30th like I said he came home uh, that Friday night and uh, I, I should uh, I should point out that the day I did my How I Made My Wheel video, that was the, actually the day after my dad had the surgery. I just thought I'd throw that in. So, so my dad ended up having to wear an external fixator for six, no, not six weeks, for ten weeks. And I do have a picture of that. I would like to, I'd like to show that to you guys right now. Um, I would like to point out, though, that even the doctor said this may, it is possible that this, something like this would scare small children, so please be advised. Here's the photo. So, my dad wore that on his foot for two weeks. It actually... It, it was uh, basically what the fix here was was uh, metal rods uh, going through his his ankle and his foot to put it back together. He had that on his foot for ten weeks, and he had it finally had it taken off almost exactly ten weeks later. Because I guess uh, according to the doctor, ten weeks was standard for that, and yeah, he actually had it off uh, taken off on. I remember this day clearly. It was Valentine's Day, February 14th. I only remember because I was home, uh, here at home watching Prices Right that day, and there was a double showcase winner. I only remember it because of that. I know that sounds strange, but. And uh, one thing I should point out that thing was heavy. I had to help him lift it a couple times. So what we did, uh, what we ended up doing was, uh, we ended up renting a hospital bed, you know, so he, because there was no way he could walk on that, and and uh, our bedrooms uh, here in my house are all on the upper level upstairs, and there there was no way my dad was gonna be able to <clears throat> be able to do that walking up and down the stairs. He couldn't walk, period, for for quite a while. So after he had that on. And so we put our, we put the hospital bed in our living room. We have a, in my house we call it the chair bed because it's, it's kind of like a love seat and you pull the cushions out and it comes out to be a pull the way bed. But, so we had that in the living room, but we, uh, we took uh, some guys from work came and helped, uh, helped move that out to the garage and, and all that. So we, Went to the hospital bed, it's literally, it was like basically right next to my computer. Because my computer, I don't know if you guys have ever seen it, in some of my videos, it's right downstairs in the living room. So it was literally right there. So I, so we had that here until about June. Yeah, it was June. And, and they wanted it back because they said the insurance company wasn't going to, cover it anymore. And my dad was able to walk up and down the stair stairs by that time so we got rid of that and I actually shot a small video at the time uh, to, just to show you how cramped everything was. Why don't you take a look.
So, so that's how that's how life was around here for a couple months. Actually, it was more than a couple. But. So my dad ended up starting a sur surgery. Oh, I have so much to cover. I'm losing my mind here. Uh, he started therapy in about March, mid March, late March. And that mid nurses, uh, home care nurses, and therapists, and that coming coming at all hours of the day. It seemed like, and I'm gonna, I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna sugarcoat this. It was kind of annoying. Because they would call you like the first instant in the morning they possibly could. I mean, I for me, I usually get up at about eight o'clock or so, and it's usually right about that time or even earlier than that they're calling you. It's like, oh, there's so many sleep. You know, and my dad, you know, trying to sleep with that thing on his foot. You know, I I don't know the uh, person from personal experience, but I imagine. There were just a couple of sleepless nights. You know, there were there was a couple times that he would sleep like half the day because he couldn't sleep at night because of that thing on his foot. But so so that's what really went down. And then in the months after he had that taken out, it was just a slow recovery and. And, and and actually, he's still not even back to work yet. It's almost October, and but but now he walks pretty good without crutches, and he doesn't need a wheelchair anymore. So, but it's but the boss doesn't want him back to work until he can walk without having to lean on anything or or hold on to something or anything like that. So, so after my dad had the fixator put on his foot. He uh, he had regular doctor visits, and my uncle would uh, take him, like I told you before, in my dad's Dodge Durango to there, and you know every so often. I think the first one was like two weeks after he had it on, then another three weeks, and then another two weeks, or something, something like that. You know, whatever the doctor can fit in, you know. So, and what we, how my dad got in or around was. We had, uh, they had also, uh, he also had a lease, uh, not really a lease, but a rental wheelchair to use. So we, we would, uh, my, my other uncle came over and built a ramp on our deck, or some people call it a front porch, but. So built a ramp of the, to go to go up and down that, because he couldn't, we couldn't do that out the regular door that we use. We, used our front door for this and this was keep in mind this was in the middle of winter too so this this was a lot of fun so um so we had the ramp uh, my uncle came and put a ramp there and i don't know what i'm trying to say so we'd have to pull him up and my uncle my uncle would pull and I'd push and that and that's how we got in and out of the house and then we'd help him get in the in the car or not the car the truck so so I, I, I some of you are probably wondering why did your uncle have to drive drive your dad why can't you drive him because it's I don't know how else to say this, but uh, I cannot drive a car. I do not have the hand-eye coordination for that. I I never tried driving at the time when I was like 16. You know, that's that, that's like the big age to go get your license and stuff. That it just didn't appeal to me. I I think I knew deep down I wasn't going to be able to to drive a car. So that's it's something I never told you guys, but I did, I thought I should throw that in there. Um, so, so you can imagine, you know, this was the key in mind, like I said, this was uh, in the middle of winter in Wisconsin. So, there was, and uh, another thing I should point out, I cannot operate a snowblower at all. I, I'm not uh, gifted 
so to speak, in that field. So, so, uh, so well, most of the snow removal was either by hand, you know, or or uh, some of the guys from work or somebody that we know would come over and snow blow for us. So, uh, I'm, th this was rough. These were rough times, especially in this economy. And another thing I should point out, some of you might be wondering, how, what, what did you guys do for money? And, well, we had our sources of income, but uh, the main thing was, uh, 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 my dad, through my dad's work, he has a six-month disability thing from uh, from MetLife, if you ever heard of them. And I, I, this is another thing I cannot show you to quote, they will fight you the entire way. And, and my dad would have to sit on the phone with them for, like, it would seem like once or twice a week during all this because they were such pricks. Cause they didn't want to fork over the money, you know, and you know, and then they would uh, they would freeze his account so that now they can't pay him, and then they 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 put my dad through a lot of bullshit. Pardon my French. So that's uh, so that's I don't know what else there is to cover about that, but uh, that was. One of the main reasons I haven't been able to do anything for YouTube here. Uh, I think I covered everything about that. So, like, uh, so once uh, once my dad was able to walk, he started using his crutches again, and then and then to just to get around the house, like in the downstairs, you know, he was a. Uh, he he just roll around in his wheelchair, so that's how he got around. You know, he didn't at the time. You know, he didn't walk more than he absolutely had to. So, uh, so we got notice that uh, that at the beginning of September they weren't gonna cover the wheelchair anymore. So me and my dad packed it up and we took it back to back to Oshkosh where it came from. Actually it came from Appleton, but there was a place in Oshkosh we could drop it off, but... So now my dad, my dad walks around pretty good without crutches or and without wheelchair, but it's painful for him still. So... So... I'm glad this is almost over, because during that time, especially like right after Right after he had this done, he, uh, me and my sister pretty much had to fend for ourselves as far as making food. And another thing I am not gifted in, there's that word again, is uh, is operating a stove, like the the burners, the gas burners. I I don't have the hand-eye coordination to be able to do that. So anything I made was either microwave or in the actual oven. So that was. So, th these times were rough. I'm glad this is almost done and behind us. So, uh, so on to my next segment. Sorry guys, I had to turn my light on. It's getting dark here. The weather today has been up and down. So, so I, if you saw my last video I did, what was that? August now? I said I'd be back in September. I really didn't plan on on waiting till now to do this. I kind of uh, hoped and prayed that my dad would be back to work by now, and he's not. So, so the, there are some other... I, I did mention some other things I wanted to do, like... Uh, um... Uh, my board game reviews. Um, I have, I have since my last board game review, which was the 1975 uh, wheel board game by Milton Bradley. I have come into some new ones. I mean, I had a, I had a huge uh, stash of uh, board games before then, and now I, I have come into a few more. And I came across one recently that most of my 
YouTube subscribers would probably like because uh, it's, it's not Wheel of Fortune, but I think you guys might like it for one for one reason. I'm not gonna say what it is yet. So um, doing these board game reviews, I should be back sometime doing these. I don't have a set schedule for this stuff, so uh, so that's one thing I wanted to do. So I did, uh, actually, at the end of July, I came across the, the second edition of the Milton Bradley Wheel of Fortune game from 1975, which was something I never thought I would ever find. Um, it's not much different from the first one, so I don't know if there's really any point in doing a review of it. I don't know, it's, it's all basically the same, and some parts were missing, and and stuff like that, like the tray where you keep all the letters that was missing and some other stuff. So uh, going back to uh, my video I did last September, I had mentioned I had a big surprise and I didn't say what it was, so I want to get that in there. I don't want to say anything about it right now because cause I don't want to give it away. So, um, about my wheel update, an update on my wheel, I'm going to make this very simple for you guys. There is no update. I, as, as you saw before, I, uh, like I said, my dad had all this going on and, and, and stuff, so I, me and him were unable to work on any of it. So, I, so, but I did... I'm just glad I got my How I Made My Wheel video done. And speaking of which, uh, around March or so, I went back and I was watching my video again on YouTube. And I did notice that I did uh, leave a few things out. So somewhere down, down the line, I want to do a an amendment, so to speak, to my to my How I Made My Wheel video. I know, I know one, one point, I think it was the last part of the, the video where I had some, I was showing you, I was supposed to be showing you guys some of the parts and it, I, I failed to get them in, in the camera shot at all. So I want to go back and do that. I, I said, I, I even said it in the video, I'd, I'd show you guys my Bob Goen wheels and then I never did. So I should do that. But I am considering redoing that wheel layout because, because uh, it's uh, well we we made the wheel parts out of the map board uh, a little too big, or no, we didn't make them big enough. Yeah, we we made them too small for the for how the things were, the for how the wedges were, and. Uh, uh, so what we did, uh, starting with that one, we started trimming them down. So, uh, so now what we did, uh, so then what we did was, uh, I put, laid them all out, I put it on my wheel, and it's, it's, it, it doesn't line up with the, the, the spokes of the wheel at all. So, and then I lay them on there, and then there's a big gap in between them, in between the halves, you know. So, I'll, I'll show them to you guys someday, before I redo it. I, I really want to redo it because it just looks god-awful. So, um, one thing I never told you guys, I do have, back when I made those wheel layouts that you've seen, I did make the, the, what is that? It's either, I've heard either one. It's either the 1979 or the 1980 layout. Excuse me. I, I've heard both of them. It's it, it, whichever one it is. I made that one. It's the round one wheel. I just I never showed you guys because a I don't have rounds two or three made, and b I don't have the the add-on wedges for that time period done either. So I never showed you guys that one. It was the the. The, that layout was used when, when they started the nighttime show. I'll paint. I'll put it that way. 
So, like I said, I want to do a wheel amendment video. I don't know when that's going to be. I got to go back and look through it again just to see what I all missed. So, another thing I have coming up that I want to do is uh, do a review of the new uh, game, uh, Price is Right game for Nintendo Wii. The Price is Right Decades. And that's coming out October 18th. So I should have a review of that somewhere in that. Somewhere like a week. Within that week I should have it up. So it, it looks really cool. They've finally incorporated the Mii characters in this. So it's going to be pretty cool. So um, I'll wait to see what happens there. So um, speaking of Price is Right and stuff. The only thing I really have been able to do here on YouTube this past year is uh, is uh, filling in for Mr. Horgan in the pricing game recaps. And uh, I want to point out this was something that actually just kind of happened. Beginning of last season, Price is Right was uh, I started subscribing to him just just because uh, so there was I had an opinion to look for, you know, because that's what he does, he offers a lot of opinions in his videos, and one time, I think, one time during his videos, it was, he had a little problem with his camera, it was, it was somewhere around November, maybe, or October, or something like that, and uh, it turned out he had the wrong uh, kind of batteries that his camera needed, and he ended up, some a couple of days, I think, his recaps were had to be chopped up into multiple parts. They were like, they were like two minute videos, and they were like ten parts, it seemed like, or even less than two minutes. And then I asked him what what was going on, and then he brought up the story about how his batteries uh, weren't working right, and and he had a he had asked me if. If uh, he ever, if for some reason, he couldn't uh, couldn't do the recaps, like if his camera batteries died, or if he was out of town, or whatever reason, that I fill in for him, and and I and I said yes to it, obviously. So it was just something that kind of happened, and the first one I did that was just god awful. I, I, looking back at that, that is, out of all the recaps I've done for him, that is by far the worst. But, it was, I wasn't used to it, to doing that, so it was, so, it's understanding how bad that was. But, what, what I'm trying to get at here is, I am here for him on a fill-in basis only. Like, uh, there have been a few times where, his internet will, will be out, and and uh, he won't be able to upload his video to YouTube, and and if that happens, he uh, he will still uh, he will uh, how am I trying to say this? He will still record the recap for that day, but it will not be uploaded until the next day's recap is done, and that. And he uploads that. So I want to point that out. I know I do have a few subscribers here that are among his subscribers. So I, I just want to point that out. So I'm, I have worked with him uh, closely through, throughout this. He, we, we, we communicate quite a bit. And he, he's a not that bad of a person. So I... I've, I've done several, as you may or may not know, I've done several several videos uh, with him uh, together. So, if you're looking for any of those, you'll find those on his page, not mine. He's a, he's a very nice person. I'm glad to, to know him. So. so, that's that. Um, One other thing I want to point out is uh, I've noticed a couple people that I subscribe to 
And among other people on YouTube who I don't subscribe to, but I've noticed that uh, have admitted to this, so I'm going to jump on this bandwagon too. I just want to let you know that I actually that uh, I actually have a, a second YouTube account. I started in January of 2010, just about a year and a half ago. Actually, that's more than a year and a half ago, but anyway... Uh, I don't know if any of you are familiar with the classic Nickelodeon game show Double Dare, but I I upload uh, episodes on that on my other YouTube channel quite regularly. I I made the youth second YouTube account primarily because I at the time uh, the owners of the show Viacom was known for having YouTube videos yanked and su accounts suspended. And I didn't want that to happen to this channel, so I made the second one. And plus it was to separate my Wheel of Fortune stuff here versus my Double Dare stuff on this channel. So and I have been able to work on that stuff in the in this last year sporadically. So you So I so you can check that out. My other YouTube account is Sunday Slide eighty seven. So if you want, you can uh, click on uh, you can click on my forehead. I'll have a link for you, so you can check that out. So uh, I did uh, some thoughts on season forty of The Price Is Right. Um, so far, this season's been pretty good. I liked in the first week they were showing uh, throwback clips from uh, years gone by. You know, that's something that was pretty cool. Uh, the new set, I gotta say, looks pretty cool. The 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 rotating uh, dollar signs. If I'll stop kicking my tripod here, the the rotating dollar signs. That's something new. I mean, I mean, they never imagined that being in the studio in 1972. I mean, come on. But uh, just today, actually, they had the new uh, the new revised. Uh, uh, what's the name of it? Uh, money distribution in Punch a Bunch. That was pretty cool to see that. So, finally got to see that. I kind of gave up uh, waiting to see the return of check game and credit card. So, so it's hard to say if any more pricing games are going to get redone this season. But uh, if there's one game I would nominate to be redone, I would probably nominate Switcheroo. That game, I can't remember the last time that game had an update. I don't think it's ever been updated now that I think about it. So, um, one thing I, I that really bothered me about Price is Right is the is that they got rid of Rich Fields. That was like probably the hugest mistake that they could have ever made. So, uh, in the last season we had uh, all kinds of rotating announcers and George Gray is a great announcer, and, but I don't think he'll be as good as Rich Fields. It's just my opinion. I really don't have much else to say about that. New season of Wheels started. Um, the, it was cool seeing the half car wedge or half car nameplates won uh, last night on the show. That was pretty cool for the first time. And uh, when sadly we have laid the seven hundred dollar wedge to rest. But if the producers want want to, want to bring back uh, something classic, my suggestion would be the six hundred dollar wedge, the the purple six hundred dollar wedge next to the bankrupt. If they want to, they can make that seven hundred dollars. It'd be just like the old, uh, the old layouts from the the eighties and nineties, from like round four. Just saying, if they want to bring back seven hundred dollars, that that'd be a way to do it. So, so uh, I would like to extend a congratulations to Jim Thornton for becoming Wheel of Fortune's new announcer. I have to say he does a pretty good job on Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, he's got big shoes to fill. I'm, you know, we all know that. But uh, just wanted to say congratulations to Jim Thornton. He's just, 
he's probably the best that they could get for right now. So congratulations to him. So uh, one last uh, much more uh, serious thing I want to bring up is uh, other people have said this, that they have this, but I don't remember exactly who, so I don't want to mention any names. But I do have a general idea of who I think it is. But this is something that I also uh, suffer from, and and that is uh, Asperger's syndrome. I really didn't know what set me apart from the rest of the world, I guess, until probably about a year and a half. Probably about a year and a half ago, my dad brought it up to me. I. I kind of we were doing something outside, and I kind of asked him what 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 was what made me so different from everybody, and that he brought up that I was when I was younger I was diagnosed with Asperger's syndrome, which for those of you who don't know what that is, it's a form of autism. So uh, this I I know I had learning difficulties when I was uh, in in grade school, and pretty much throughout my life like uh and i've also had eyesight problems i know some there was at least one person who commented on one of my videos that asked me what i was looking at when i was doing my video and i don't have very good eyesight i i've had when i was younger i had three i had three separate eye surgeries i had one when i was about three i had one when i was about seven i think i had one when i was about eight I'm trying to trying to correct it it's when I was older, I was about 12, they prescribed me glasses too, so that by the time I was 14 or 15 or so, that really stopped helping me, the glasses. But, uh, you know, like I said, Asperger's Syndrome is a form of autism. I really don't know how how to explain it if you're not familiar with it. The best thing I can do, tell you is to look it up online. So, I, I, I just thought I should bring that up just because other people have admitted to it. Admitted to it, that's not the right word I should say. Have a, They have brought it up, that's, that's a better way of saying it. They've brought up that they have it, so... Uh, you know, this whole this whole ordeal uh, has uh, has been rough on me since I do suffer from from Asperger's syndrome and I was diagnosed with it when I was like I said when I was in grade school and uh, and that's what the the psychologist it's, it's psychologist or psychiatrist I don't know what it, who it was uh, for the school diagnosed me with that as uh, being borderline. Because he had to diagnose me with something, otherwise the school couldn't help me, give me assistance and stuff. So I had I had plenty of learning disabilities, and I'm I'm sure anyone who was learning disability probably had their fair share of being picked on in school, as did I. There, there's plenty of times. I'll just leave it at that. But. Uh, I, I'm not sure, but after my dad told me what I have, I think, I think I'm letting it control me a little more. And the, like I said, this whole ordeal with my dad being laid up and my and when you have Asperger's syndrome, you have kind of like you have, you develop a routine, and when that gets interrupted, it's it, it life becomes a little unpleasant. That's basically all I can say. So. So, I think that's everything. I apologize that this video is too long. If I have to, I'll, I'll chop it up into parts. Or edit it down or something. So, so I thank you for your patience with me. I'm sure you understand my situation. And this is Neil Rocks 87 I'll see you all next time.